Hey everybody, this is Dave Cooper, and we are in West Midlands, England, at Frameclad SFS, and I am standing with Mark Munns, who is the founder and has been in this industry for a long time. Mark, thanks for having us. No problem. So, Mark, tell us a little bit about what you do. Give us a little bit of your history and what we do here. Um, we manufacture light gauge steel framing for housing, residential, student accommodation, some commercial uses. We supply a number of markets, modular factories, developers, right. anyone really who we think we can help. Sure. And, and how long has Frameclad been in operation now? We've been in operation now since 2009 and manufacturing ourselves since 2014. And how long have you personally been in this industry? 20 years. 20 years. 20 years. So, you know, one of the things that, that I've noticed as soon as we walked in the door was the, the culture that you have here and the process that you guys have dialed in and the, and the projects you're doing. Tell us a little bit in more detail about the culture you have here. We're a very, very friendly company. We really, really try hard to help both our clients and our own staff. We're only as good as the guys on the factory floor, and we really believe in that. Um, but yeah, we just try and help, be agile, and sell everybody a decent, commercially viable product. Sure, and you guys take a real consultative approach, right? So when you work with a client and they come to you, you're basically an extension of their entire team. Yes, from design, from concept, We'll tech review a scheme. Yeah. We'll try and find a solution that works both for them and us. Yeah. And then hopefully we negotiate, get a commercial solution, and then basically take the project through design, manufacture, to deliver the site. Right. And I, I think what a lot of people need to understand with this business, I mean, you guys do everything from a very bespoke project. You take on projects that others do not want to do, but you can also really do large scale projects as well. Yeah. We're annotated to go 10 stories high with the load bearing yeah. um, elements that we do. But we don't say no to anybody. If somebody comes to us, they want our help. So we genuinely try and help. Right. So we, we, we have a local guy who we do bases with um, right the way through to 10 stories high schools. Yeah. Some, of the, some of the things you were showing me is the unique designs and layouts that you have come up with that a lot of other people don't know how to do. Yeah, we try and, again, make the building work for the occupier and also for the, for the end user. Right. So we try and t build all those things into the design process. Sure. The design then leads the information through to the machinery. The machinery delivers the product. So you have, uh, in the location we're at now, there's, there's two different buildings here, all in operation, you know, building floors and walls and cassettes and everything else. But you also have a full engineering staff correct in another yeah, office that's location. That's located in Billingham. Yeah. Um, we have 10 good guys in there working. We have our commercial team there as well. And so they bounce off one another to come up with solutions that work. Yep. So we become very pragmatic just by those guys being intertwined and together. Sure. And then the process here, you know, obviously we got some steel behind us and we got the machines and you can hear, you know, the people working in the background while we do our video here. But I will tell you, um, it, it, it flows through the building and out, and you guys can flat pack or ship these in any order that the builder may want. Yeah, correct. And we'll supply anything from basic component to an unassembled panel, to a fully assembled panel, to a fully boarded panel. So basically we can be really agile with the offering that we give, which if you're working on a tight site, you don't want a panel, we'll sell you the component. So we can be really agile right. and really take on board the end user's requirement. Right, and one of the other things that I heard while we were walking around was that if there is a change on site and a builder needs something quickly, you can run something for we them. We can react. And react we to it react. and support them. So, yeah. I mean, I think that's great. What haven't we touched on? Volume. Volume. So talk to us so about with, the volume. With volume at the moment, we're probably running at a third of our overall available capacity. And so what we're now seeking is opportunities to grow that to fill the capacity to right. really maximize the kit. Sure. The, the um, actual location that we're in lends itself to three shifts. Mm -hmm. So we're just looking really to grow the business 
and continue to, to provide right. a really good product for people that we supply. Yeah, and I think that's the whole thing, right? You're growing. You, when we got here, you said, well, this was where we were, but now you're in two locations, so you're, you're growing extremely fast. You have plenty of uh, space for, for more volume to happen through, and, and you're able to not only do, like I said, the bespoke products, but the super large projects as well. So and that, I think that's what people need to understand. Yeah, we, we have massive capacity here. Um, we, we certainly, I don't think we will ever fully maximize that capacity yeah. as much as we would love to. Right, right. But certainly we can double what we wanted to do. Yeah, that. perfect. Well, we appreciate you having us on this tour. We're going to show a bunch of stuff as we walk through for everybody to see. Mark Munz, you guys are doing an amazing job here at Frameclad. Uh, I highly recommend checking them out. I mean, listen, you're getting it done and they're growing. I'm Dave Cooper, West Midlands, England. We'll see you next time.